Okay, Diane, I'm walking in the front door, Canada Del Oso. You can see there's a door directly in front of me to the backyard. There is tile on this floor. Very neutral, kind of southwestern. Um, dining room, dark painted ceilings, skylight, and the entryway. To my left is the kitchen and the living room. To my right is bedrooms, but I'm going to um, avoid that right now. As I go into the living room, you see the Kiva fireplace, the built-in bookcases, and the wood Vega ceiling. Ceiling fan. The windows look out onto the Sandia Mountains. And it's a very incredible view. It's gray today, um, but they're nice. The doors out lead to a hot tub, but it's to the cute little courtyard. Um, kitchen. Sorry, I have papers on the counter. The white appliances stand out. I think that would be a major improvement. <clears throat> this is the granite up close and personal. Lots of it. Um, and the wood floors go throughout the dining room and the kitchen. This door leads to a pantry, um, which is actually a very nice size. Um, not sure you can see it too well. Eating area off the kitchen, again with a door out to the courtyard. And here's another angle of the kitchen. From the kitchen window, there are trees there, um, but in the winter you'd have a great view of the mountains. Pretty trees. And it opens directly to that living area. There's a built-in desk across from the eating area. And the laundry room is separated. This door goes to the garage. These stairs go to what I'm calling a rec room. I'll come back to. And hi, Paul. Hi. Double doors um, on my left are a big closet. Double doors into the master, which your husband is trying to open so we get the full effect. And they're tall. I think they're eight-foot doors. Eight or nine. Yeah, they're eights. Eight. Again, in the living room, we've got the Vigas with the wood ceiling. It is carpeted, um, has the custom fireplace, matches the living room style, I believe, and the doors out to the patio. Going to go into the master bath. As you walk in, um, vanity across, jetted tub, another vanity to my right walk-in water closet, toilet, and a walk-in shower. Um, it's a spacious shower, double-headed, um, and then the closet does not have a closet door, but it's a nice size closet with built-ins and actually a skylight. From the master, you can go out this door or the door from the entryway onto the patio, which is slate, tile, wood ceiling, couple skylights, beautiful courtyard, which would have city views um, if it wasn't gray and sky and as it gets darker. Little gate out to the remainder of your lot and an arroyo um, for drainage, but nobody could build back there. Okay, these doors go to a bedroom. I'll point out on the other side of the house. <clears throat> Paul's being a great doorman. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to go upstairs to what I'm calling the rec room. Um, it's additional space above the garage. It does have a pocket door. And this carpet's ugly, but could be 
a nice pool table, just nice storage. Could be um, media room or, I don't know, has a half bath and a wet bar. There's the cabinet doors with glass um, that you were talking about doing in the kitchen. Back downstairs, this door from the kitchen 